Thanks for joining us, Asley. Thanks for joining us from Star from Starship. Matt is here by audio, so if you hear this random voice, he's he's here. So you're gonna hear him. He'll he'll be um, participating. This yeah, is I the apologize. time for everybody. This is the I time for everybody to like chat. For some reason, my video doesn't work. If I try to do it on my phone, then then my audio doesn't work. So it's like a mess over here. So <laughs> that's fine. We hear you loud and clear. Um, Asley, again, thanks for joining us as well. Um, you guys have questions, ask them. Um, as always, though, I do have a disclaimer. I'm going to put that up, and then we'll be right back. Hang in there. All right, guys, we're back up. Um, Matt, yes, a lot sir. of stuff has been happening. I'm watching the community. I see a lot of questions being asked. I also actually have a list of questions that Stuart has helped actually collect from the community. So we'll be answering some of those. Um, before we do get into that, is there any particular topic that you would like to talk about initially or just dive into well, these? I think that it's important for us to acknowledge, you know, <laughs> the the recent, I guess you could call it turbulence. Um, but I, I do want to thank everybody who's reached out uh, to support us, you know, especially those in private, like DMs. Um, it's incredible the resilience and, uh, and the, the support that we have. It's a beautiful thing. Um, one of those groups of people is uh, obviously Alpha Origins. I see Tim, he's in the chat. <laughs> thank you, Tim. Um, Tim is he Tim and his team they are uh, providing you know some ideas some game development ideas uh, for Starship NFT because if you don't know yet uh, we are moving into a direction where uh, we will you know develop on top of the current roadmap obviously we're gonna we're going to uh, honor our commitments that's something that's very big with me uh whether that commitment is made to the community by somebody else or if it's made by me personally uh, i will find a way to honor that um so we will honor the the current roadmap uh and we will uh obviously continue uh to make things happen with starship nft okay. but um i think we've also all seen that along this entire this entire time you've, you've been here as the, through all the fun up and ups and downs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, take notice on. that's big for me. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, me and Asley, when we first started with this, we weren't owners of, of Starship and we fell in love with the community. Uh, there's about 20 admins who have been with us since the beginning. Um, through all the ups and downs, we've seen people come and go, but there is a core group of passionate people, you know, you know, beating the drums, marching forward with this thing. And, and, uh, you know, no matter what happens, those people, uh, you know, they're starship, uh, maxi, <laughs> like the Bitcoin max maximalist people, but, uh, you know, we also we're... have some, some futters, although we don't have to shed so much light onto that. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's, you know what there's, we do. We know what we do best. We always just do this. We just smile. There's, That's a, there's always yeah. futters. There's always yeah. futters. And guess what? It makes it makes it so much more beautiful and enjoyable when we accomplish our goals. Uh, yeah. Because you know when things are going top. good, when things are going good, they're they're all hiding. Um, they're all hiding. They're just waiting and wishing that something bad would happen. And then when something bad happens, they all come out of hiding. And then, you know, it's our job to put them back in hiding. Uh, yeah, they're like that's... a little troll under the bridge. They always come out. They're like little sneaky little things. Yeah, but but honestly. it's not coming yet. We got to wait a little bit. Exactly. But honestly, you know, that's that's motivation. So, you know, thank you for the support, but also thank you for the trolls. Uh, because that is motivating. Um, you know, your enemy is going to is going to expose uh, whatever weaknesses they think you have or that you might actually have. And, and that right there is, is only going to make us better. Um, 
So thank you to the trolls. Thank you to the support. Uh, and, you know, definitely, definitely thank you, everybody. But right. um, so I got to say, I'm going to I'm going to brighten the mood a little bit as well. I mean, again, I just had to put you got to give the fighter some attention just to feed them a little bit. Right. Get them. to Oh, they're talking about us. Yeah. That's, that's the name of the game. That's but all it's let's, light, let's lighten up things a little bit more because I do see a live uh, a question within the live chat. And this is for Asley. I see you guys there. Um, favorite ice cream. I got to ask. They, all, they obviously want to know. <laughs> Sorry, say again, uh, please. We, we got to know. We got to know what your favorite ice cream is right off the bat. We got Crypto Tim asking oh, you. Oh, strawberry. It's because you gave strawberry. Tim a shout out. He's got to ask a weird question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like a strawberry, a strawberry ice cream with an ice cold beer. That's, that can't <laughs> be beaten. That's the best you can. So... <laughs> Beer, beer no, forward. but what uh, uh, Matthew said, it, uh, it's been a long, uh, the, the fathers and the trolls, they are important for us to actually kick us in the ass too, so we can see what uh, what we need to do and fix and everything. And me and Matthew, in uh, last four or five days, at least, we've been, we've been working until like three, four or five uh, a.m. in the morning uh, with learning us up a bit more uh, things that we didn't know we could and and just keep punching and punching and punching because it's it's uh you have all of the people that suddenly disappears and you start talking shit about you and and uh, you've been supportive and you've been helping and you've been trying as good as you can a long time and and and, and it's hard, hard to i mean i i don't take any of this personal because it's like we discussed many earlier one week in this uh, business is it's like one year in another business because uh, people are expecting something new every minute of the day uh, uh, and if they don't get anything it's trolling we're sleeping we're not working or and uh, to be honest uh, i never worked that much in my life it's uh, it's so much things that sure. needs to be done yeah, 24-7, and never sleeps. Uh, because as soon as one troll uh, hits the bed, the next one wakes up in another different part of the world. So uh, so you, you have to keep on top of the uh And maybe the, the community has probably seen that I've been kind of pulling myself back because it's been too much with regular job, with, with this job, with every job, and move, movings, and schools for kids, and uh, Wednesday evening, Evening, we bought things to have in our house down in the Bahamas. And th Thursday evening, I bought plane tickets because kids were starting new school Monday morning on the other part of the world. So there's a lot of things happening. And, and uh, um, luckily, I have Matthew by my side here. And uh, he's the CEO. And he's, I mean, I never met, uh, met anyone that works as hard as him. So I just smile and, and, and hope that he continues. <laughs> That's, my... that's why we're also that's why we got some interesting questions coming up so um i have a list here just so everybody knows i am reading a list again this was provided by the community and Stuart helped collect a lot of this um you guys hinted on a few of those although i think we could get a little bit more specific um in regards to um some of the answers but um do you guys want to go into these questions yeah. though or was there other stuff you kind of want to like air out or put out there Okay, so we do have a few more things to say, uh, and then we can go into the list. But if you want to yeah. throw out one of the questions, since we slightly touched on it, we I guess we could address it more, and then we can go back into these other things that we need to talk about. Okay. Um, I think the biggest one is <clears throat> actually the last one, <laughs> and it's and it's just more of a, a personal question. Um, and and I do like this, and I and I mean it because both of you are openly putting yourselves out there. You're always on um, the show. You're always active within the community elsewhere. But the one, the last question basically actually asks, after doing so much for the project, uh, we always have problems, right? There's always these problems that are coming about. But what actually keeps Matt as the CEO pushing himself and staying loyal to the project? Why doesn't, you know, basically, why don't you just be like, like I'm done? You know, why am I still doing this, right? And I think the same thing could apply with um, Asley. You know, wh wh why do you guys keep taking all these punches? I mean, what, what, so, what's that about? So when we first started Starship, uh, the goal was, 
uh, to create something that gave back to the community. Uh, myself, I love to be in the ring. Uh, I do have a lot of support, you know, helping me. I'm okay with, with falling on the sword, taking all the blows. But, um, you know, I think that there's an idea, there's a foundational idea, not just behind the pro project, but also in my core beliefs. Um, I, I believe that there's a, uh, there's a better way to do business. There's people who will say things like, oh, it's not personal, it's just business, and they'll take advantage of the community, they'll take advantage of people, uh, and they'll take advantage of us. Uh, we've seen it multiple times, but you know, honor, integrity, respect, these are all things that need to be the foundational things that, uh, you know, I mean, these are the foundational things that drive me and, and push me forward. So, um, you know, and... And, you know, there is information that will release at some point. And, you know, I, I believe that uh, it will validate that um, and it will expose any bad actors and it will, uh, you know, whatever. But point of the story is I freaking love Starship. I think that the foundation of it is is uh, made with good intentions, whether people take advantage of that or not, you know, that's, that's besides the point. And I believe that, you know, my, myself and Asley's uh, foundational belief system comes before uh, it's just business, because if it was just business, then um, we'd have pocketed all the money and uh, <laughs> we, we would have left, we would have <laughs> left the community to their own devices. That's what it is. So. As yeah, I agree, with, I agree with Matthew there. It's, it's always been about the community, uh, not that much the money part of it, because there, there, every, every time we get into it, we push back into, uh, into Starship in one other way. And uh, uh, as I've seen, Matthew, he's, he, he's the man that when the heat get, get tough there, he's, he's just stepping up and doing it best uh, to work more. I feel I'm more a supporter of the Matthew to keep uh, giving him my life advices and what I can what I can reach out with there. But uh, Matthew is an, I mean, the, the way he works, the hours he puts into it, the things he sacrifices, uh, uh, I don't think people know how lucky to have him around. But uh, hey, there's some questions in the chat. Um that I would like to address. Uh, Asley, someone said, I just want to know why you guys minted yourself 120 mythics. Oh, oh, can I answer that? Yeah, answer Go that. That's a good question. It was, first of all, it was 12 mythics, but... Uh, well, it's times, it's the times only, three, or is it times okay. six? Yeah. yeah. No, I meant... Uh, yeah, we, we minted... Uh, we minted minted ourselves a full set of mythics reason for that is that's the only pay i ever get the only thing i have and i use my mythic ships for rental for the community and when i take them out of rental it's because i'm buying a shit ton of kyanite uh, with my uh, with my uh, nfts there so so uh yeah i minted myself and to matthew as the owners of the game some mythics from my own product for our own product as payment some people have been getting salaries uh, which i did uh, so that's the only way starship could ever pay me and if people have a problem with that i think you should go play another game and check it out even a toilet a ceo of a toilet company he will get free <laughs> toilet paper at the yeah. end of the day Oh, I think there's also someone said they, they want us to mint them a mythic uh, for sticking with this red flag ridden mess. Ooh. Well, I, I think tell that you what, uh, we are adding some new blends, and you can blend yourself a mythic. Um, I think there's also the issue of 12 compared to 120. I mean, that's a big difference as well. So if there's timestamps for everything, I'm sure that could also actually be researched instead of just throwing out random numbers. So I'm a, I'm a believer in facts. If you guys say, yeah, yeah. 12, but real quick before, uh, yeah. there's, there's been another thing floating around. Um, <clears throat> there's a, there's an account called starship balance. 
Starship balance account. Um, hold on, I gotta scroll down. It says, as I, I addressed this with Alpha Origins the other night, it says, also, can you elaborate on the Starship BLNC wallet that was selling millions of kyanite and draining the LP? Yes, uh, I can answer that also. Uh, the tax wallet, uh, we're not selling directly from the tax wallet, which were supposed to sell 30% of our taxes for expenses. But uh, instead of selling them from the tax wallet, I sent them over to an account we call, uh, it's named Starship Balance. Uh, in that account, we've been selling some uh, kyanite when, uh, uh, like lately, uh, that is, the, that is for, for expenses. Lately, they haven't been that valuable selling, so I actually sent them back into the Starship game account for being used to your people again. So the taxes went in and back again. Uh, uh, Grandpa can watch for that because uh, I was doing that together with him like two, three weeks ago. So yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to read this comment. This, this comment expresses perfectly how we feel. Uh, if people have a problem with that, they should walk in the shoes of someone who has gone all in on building something. Um, you know, that's that's a very valid point. Now, this other person who's uh, been talking, <laughs> uh, I guess this would be one of our trolls. They feel like they got a bunch of I gotchas. So it says, <laughs> you say you aren't receiving salaries. Can you then explain the royalties that was sent to management? Yeah, this is a good one, Asley. Yeah, I think we're getting a little juicy here. <laughs> Uh, None of which are the questions that I have here, but if you guys want to go a little off script, you yeah, can we'll, uh, just be we'll aware. I guess this, of what you're, we'll what you're entertain talking this about. guy for one more question. Uh, royalties, Asley. Yeah, as I explained the earlier, well, the royalties are. Uh, well, well, let I'm me just say one thing. I, I, I would like you guys to look at royalties and then um, look at the 62 million kyanite that. I've staked. Uh, if you go back even further, myself and Asley also put a hundred thousand dollars into Kyanite uh, in the beginning. Um, there was a total of six hundred thousand between people who purchased Kyanite uh, in the beginning and two hundred thousand personally put in by Asley and myself. And um, then all of that money is also being staked in the rewards pool, which the players are then earning. Um, another thing that's been uh, brought up in the beginning, uh, you know, there, there's been accusations that that uh, the initial wallet that was that was um, used to create the Starship contract distributed to team members, and then those team members sold uh, their tokens. Now. If everyone remembers correctly, myself and Asley, we may have been with the project from the beginning, but we weren't the owners of the project. We were marketing the project. We had a community called Viral Investments. Um, we were partners with another person called Jake. Uh, he's the one who originally created the community. Um, and we would market tokens. Starship was the first token or one of the first tokens that we marketed. Uh, we fell in love with the community. The owners left almost a week later and uh, and Asley took over the contract and I continued working with Asley. So um, basically, you know, and, 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 if, and if you go even further into the details, every starship that we own has been purchased by us. Every Starship we own, every time Starship price went down, our account balance went down. We've purchased from uh, one penny all the way to, to $3. My, myself personally, I've purchased up to $3. So I'm in the same boat as everybody else. Uh, but, you know, again, 
and, and if you look at my wallet and you go look at some other people's wallets, you'll see that my wallet has only done purchases. So, <laughs> you know, my intentions are good. I got Starship tattooed on my finger uh, and everything that I do is for Starship. Um, so never question my intentions. Never question my intentions. Um, and I have a lot of proof backing them. Oh, that's the problem. People don't see what it costs to run the community in the different parts to build the games and all that stuff. I know I know people want to make money. I, I totally understand that. I'm one of them too. Uh, but to get there, uh, at times I had to sell, like just two months ago, I thought I, I think I sold like 180,000 Starship for development in Starship Universe. So there are of course, uh, people, uh, things that I'm uh, that we're dumping, but we're not dumping. Those starships are actually bought for a much higher price. And believe me, I was crying a lot before I did that sell button, uh, especially to Matthew, and saying, I, "I don't want to do it. We need to find another way to to fix this uh, if we're going to to pay for that development." And uh, but in the end, we had to do it uh, because if we're not doing it, we're not following up on the community and I know people will all try especially now people are trying to find uh, uh, something that we done wrong yeah we minted ourselves some, uh, some some of the nfts in our game which we are using for renting out to you people playing it and uh, but I also yeah. Asley, we you may have rent, minted us some nfts but how much how much did I buy in nfts Fifty thousand dollars worth of NFTs. How how many other projects yeah. buy buy their own NFTs? Oh, so, they all. Well, you're talking about they all mean level also. Side. So buying not from like a project. <laughs> and like a and if you look itself, at my account, look at my account, and and even though I purchased all those NFTs before before rentals, before rentals, I didn't even hardly fly my ships because I was working so much. So I bought fifty thousand dollars in NFTs that I couldn't even use because I was working so much. So, you know, it, it took your days just to to unwrap those NFTs. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to unwrap them, and and I liked collecting them all. And you know, it was a beautiful thing. I I don't I'm not complaining at all. I'm just saying, if you're gonna look for the bad, make sure you look for everything, uh, because the bad and the good. I can promise you, the good is gonna one hundred. Or a thousand times outweigh the bad, so. Um, so let's make some more announcements. Let's We've got some a... other quick questions. Just again, being cognizant of the time, some quick questions. Um, real, I think real quick, a big hold one... on. Be before we go into questions, uh, there are changes uh, to communicating updates with the community. Um, okay. We want to improve our efficiency and effectiveness. So. Uh, once a month, I'll be coming on Beyond FOMO. Um, I don't know how the community felt about the Instagram videos. I can do really quick with three second videos or 60 second videos. I can do an Instagram post. So if you follow me on Instagram, I can continue doing that. Uh, if you don't think that's a good idea, then I'll focus on my work. But once a month, I'll be doing Beyond FOMO. All my time in between will be focused on working. Um, now, we are going to change the Telegram channel to announcement only. Uh, and we're going to, because, because we are spread thin, we would like to focus all of our energy onto the Discord channel. There's going to be two channels in Discord. One is going to be asking for, for asking questions which I'll answer on the Beyond FOMO monthly update. And uh, obviously, the gamers love Discord. So that's why we want to focus our attention to Discord. Um, there is going to be an announcement in Telegram. The channel will be muted, and we will push people to the Discord channel uh, if they want to communicate and uh, you know hang out or ask questions for the monthly update. Um, so... That's a big change in itself. I mean, Starship, that, the Telegram group has a, like thousands of members. So 
I mean, obviously, yes. it's good to have more of a focus than. Well, well, here's here's where the problem. Here's here's where the problem comes, uh, Jason. Is I have to, uh, you know, I'm I'm working, and then I have to hop in and put out a fire in Telegram, and then I got to hop in and put out a fire in Discord, and it's like, you know, I'm all over the place, and I I, I can't operate effectively, and a lot of our team can't either. So, uh, you know, let's. Uh, we just need well, to help keep things more organized. I agree. That could be a good decision to have. Exactly. Um, so in Telegram, we'll pin a link uh, to the social channel and feedback channel on Discord. Um, then staff-related changes. Um, we will not be doing any more business partnerships. Uh, it is going to be just myself and Asley. Um we will continue to have strategic alliances and to source projects from the community to encourage collaboration and uh, pursuing passion. Uh, staff will not be commu community facing in the capacity of their roles with the exception of me as the CEO. Um, they can still be active as community members if they choose just won't be discussing their work with Starship when engaging in community activities. Uh, this is to protect Starship and its community against the worry-inducing misunderstanding that one project is reliant on one person. Also, to mitigate issues of ownership in relation to Starship projects that can arise when a team member working on that project builds a presence within the community. So, uh, you know, it, it, we, we can't continue to keep having this where we elevate someone within the community and then they decide to leave and they feel like they should take the entire community with them when they do. So uh, it just you know, it hurts many times. <laughs> yeah. How many times does that happen? Too many. Um, personal changes or, or, or personnel changes. Uh, Mike Krause, he did step down and he's no longer the chief operations officer uh, to focus his attention on his new consulting business. Um, we have been working with him on this transition out of the role for about three months. So we are sad to see him go, but not by any means surprised. Uh, although it may have been a surprise to the community. Mike is still around for short time to facilitate the handover uh, he's assured us that he'll continue to be an active member in the community. So that's amazing. Uh, please, please join me in thanking Mike for all he's done for Starship and for wishing him well on this new chapter in his career. So if you can reach out to Mike, tell him, say, you know, thank you. We love you. We appreciate everything you did for Starship. Um, so our new chief operations officer, uh, her name is, it's a her, so uh, clap, clap, clap. We have a, a her, and it's a, her name is Melanie. She has many years worth of experience in operations, including launching and growing businesses and business initiatives. Um, so she started with Starship earlier this year by forming and leading the writing team for Lore, also mm -hmm had input into messaging and marketing. She completed a one month trial as director of operations. She proved she would be a good fit for COO once Mike left. In her new role, she'll be working on our operational processes. Team culture, team culture is important. <laughs> and strategies to strengthen Starship Foundation while taking us to the next level. Uh, please join me in congratulating Melanie also. Send a little message. Say thank you, Mel, in, uh, in Telegram. Um, she is amazing. But again, uh, these, these roles, they will not be community forward-facing roles. So you're not going to see her in the chat talking about business operations. You know, those updates will be done uh, monthly when I come on the show uh, or within uh, – within um, medium or discord or, or whatever, but, but those, those, any business updates, they will be coming from me directly. Um, and then we have our questions, Jason. So you can uh, run through those. 
first thank you mike we love you thank you for the support and welcome melanie so now i done it that's it yeah also i mean i just i guess my opinion real quick i i do like the idea that everything is not necessarily being more um internalized but um I just have to say from my experience in this space to see community members kind of being um, promoted or upgraded to specific roles within projects. And then obviously again, emotions run wild in the space to then, you know, leave on bad notes, good notes, have certain, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Some 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 bad intentions, I guess. <laughs> but it's always interesting to see that you know people rise up and then they feel like they have power over something when it really shouldn't be that way. And and, and I think that that's a reflection upon themselves by doing that. Um, and it's a shame to kind of see that you know people should always be supporting the projects and and doing the best that they can for everybody. It shouldn't just be like I'm out. This is why blah 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 and and putting everything out there. You know, it's this not, is not professional. This is totally my fault. I. I always want to elevate people. So first you elevate yourself, then you make sure your family is taken care of, and then you try to elevate the people around you, your community, your friends, your family, you know, so, but you can't do those things without elevating yourself. Uh, and this is a, a belief that I've held and, and I've shared and the community can vouch for me because they've seen me do it multiple times. And, you know, it's just, it, it hasn't worked out the way that I want. So, uh, you oh, know, let's just, let's, <laughs> let's just say the devil wins this one. And, uh, I, I, and I'm going to change, change the way that we operate, um, because of it. All right. Um, I do have a big question right off the bat. This actually deals with LP keys. So liquidity, um, who holds those and what is locked or accessible? Okay. So every partner pairing is burned. Uh, the LP token is burned, which means the partner pairing, nothing can be withdrawn, only purchased, swapped, whatever within the partner pairing. Now, within the Starship BNB pairing, there's there's a, there's about 6% of the LP tokens unlocked in our wallet. There's also within that same contract owner wallet about 800,000 tokens. Now, the goal is, if you read the white paper, these tokens will be used for pairings and also uh, liquidity for exchanges. So whenever we do an exchange listing, I don't know when it'll be, but we'll use some of those tokens for the pairing. <clears throat> now, the 6% that's unlocked, that's probably the only 6% we're ever going to have. Um, ever um because at some point we are going to turn off the taxes for starship so there's going to be no reflection there's going to be no uh there's going to be no liquidity pool ad um but we're going to do that at a certain level uh once we've reached a certain level in liquidity then we'll do that so um but right now this is this is where we're at with it but other than that everything else is is locked or inaccessible um, I mean, it, it's burned or inaccessible. So, and and I I hold the keys for Starship. Asley and myself have the keys for for the Kyanite and Starship contracts. Okay. Um, I think we only really have time for these next two, but they are two big ones. The, the next one is just dealing with sexy finance, I guess, in general. Um, I guess if, just an update of that um, where things are. And how I guess it has a any effect on Starship the token or Starship as a company. Um, okay, where, so what's I'm gonna going do something quick so we can maybe get a couple more questions in. Um, I have I have the residential address and the business address in Puerto Rico. So those are the one, two things that I needed to do. In terms of price, I can't talk about price or impact of price. Mm -hmm. uh, utility, we we are going to offer incentives for people who pair with Starship, just like. Uh, you know, just like we're going to do in our games, just like we're going to do with any other thing we do, there's always going to be an incentive to pair. It's also in our white paper. So, um, and let's say they pair, they get a listing. So. Okay. 
well that uh, so that also has its own telegram group are you i know this is a little out of right field but do you uh, is that going to remain the same do you think that would be merged with discord or is that kind of just open ended right now i believe the telegram for sexy should be open um whenever it's sexy opens and the reason is is most investors they like telegram the reason yeah, we're pushing everybody like to discord now is because our only product is the game so basically uh gamers love discord it's just a matter of fact so we focus while we're building we, we push all of our energy to one channel in discord and then when sexy opens i'm sure the sexy telegram will also also be open okay kainai um what's up with this what's going to happen with that that's our gaming that's our gaming currency and it's always going to be our gaming currency and depending on uh the direction of the community uh, in the direction that they want to take us uh, in terms of what products they support, you know, those are going to be the products we develop. If everybody quits playing Starship NFT and starts trading on Sexy, well, we're going to continue developing Sexy. If everybody, you know, goes all in with NFT, then then we're going all in with NFT. So, and and I would like to to say something. Uh, you know, there's. Oh, Kyanite Resonators, someone said update. They will be uh, required to equip this week. So make sure you have your Kyanite Resonator. Um, very important. Um, but I do want to mention something. Um, you know, people talking about uh, mismanagement of funds and things like that. In the beginning of this year, uh, my understanding was Kyanite Liquidity Pool had three months left to live. And... You know, we had to make more utility for it. The GDD in its current form, if you look at it, you tell me one thing on there that that says utility and that is going to make Kyanite price go up besides purchasing planets. Uh, and you're going to find it. we wouldn't have utility until late 2022, 2023. So based off of what I was told, we decided to invest in Starship Universe. Now, um, you know, mismanagement, misappropriation of funds, uh, not uh, using the money in NFT. Well, there's another problem too with NFT. And it, St Starship NFT was not built on a game engine. So it's, it's a completely customized uh, piece of work, a uh, customized piece of work that we had to rebuild in the beginning of February, if everybody remembers. Um, and there's only enough room for one developer on it. Now, NFT has evolved to a point where we can have multiple developers on it. And we are speaking with the development company about, um, you know, increasing staff, increasing uh, hours, um, you know, focusing more energy into this. So it was never a matter of uh, are we willing to invest in NFT or are we... Uh, you know, going to continue building it out. Like, like if, if you read through private messages that I've made with people uh, who were core members on the team, you'll see, can we add more staff to it? Can we, can we add more this to it? Can we add more that to it? Can, you know, this is all we're going to have this month. Come on. Like I need to do more. So, you know, it, when, when more information comes out on everything, you'll see that our intentions were always honorable and always for the community. So that's important. Yeah, and I want uh, I want to punch in that we had meetings with uh, the blockchain company we worked with last night, and uh, I said resonators will be mandatory. Uh, hopefully by the end of this week. Uh, and also the Kayat marketplace is uh, very very close to launch so we'll have the kind of nft cells in there so we we do work our asses off to get more more utility use for the kyanite and as matthew said it, it is always first priority and uh, right now we feel that uh, the starship nft is the correct product to work on uh, sexy is also uh, a good product to work on but we need to uh, we, we cannot be all the price we need to keep punching where we can where we where we actually can see a lead very fast and starship nft is it's so close to turn uh, turn around now uh, i mean with 
the things that are coming up. Uh, you, uh, I'll, I, I think the scholarship NFT is every year to come, and uh, it's about to 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 be more profitable for everyone holding kind of it and and uh, well, we can't NFT talk about profit in the aftermarket. Asley, we can't talk about profit no. or ROI, no. but um, there are some new blends. If you look, uh, there is some blends that cost, or some packs that are selling that cost kyanite. That kyanite goes directly to the rewards pool. Um, there's oh, also you're talking about additional utility of that. That's a, I mean, everything's within the GDD, so everybody can see it. Yeah, yeah. So um, there is one last question. I think that this would actually be a good one to end it on, and this deals with funds in general, I guess, because um, we're just talking about. Um, liquidity pools, sexy finance, NFTs. Now, again, Starship more is like a business. Do you guys have an actual, like um, an investor? Is it just Matt Asley? How is right, this kind of- Right now- uh, being positioned I am short term, long term? Right now, I'm gonna be the sugar daddy for Starship. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, but, you know, there is another question. Uh, is there any private entity involved other than Matt Nasley who is funding the project? The answer is no, but we are entertaining some ideas and offers uh, with the intention that uh, as long as our promises and commitments, you know, are, are at the core of, um, of everything, you know, within this deal, then then we could potentially, you know, accept funding and, and a partnership or, or whatever. But, you know, again, that's not required. That's not necessary. But surprisingly, uh, the recent incidents that have happened have brought a lot of investors to our door. Uh, a lot of people who love Starship and want to help out in some capacity. So, we don't know what will happen with that, um, but, you know, that is a reality. Okay. Sounds good to me. Again, sometimes FUDders give um, exposure and shed some more light onto projects and that sometimes blows up in their face, kind of actually helps. <laughs> so it's a weird kind of twist sometimes. Got to give credit sometimes. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, um, we're actually, we're running um, a little bit. I, I do want to address Slada. Um, I, I do intend on increasing the kyanite bonus uh, especially uh, i'd like to focus in the area of rentals um so I, I would like to see at the very minimum uh epic component reward go up even if we remove the tax for the people who are renting epic ships mm. um you know I, there's something there i there's probably a hundred rentals on the market. I would like to see at least 10 times that. Um, and I'm sure the players who own uh, common components or uncommon components, they would like to see that too. So uh, let's see what happens there. But in the meantime, as someone said, let's get stable and then we'll, we'll move in that direction. Okay. I like it. Um... I already see in a Telegram group, it was already updated to basically make that push and transition towards Discord that's there. I already can tell you guys from the, from the like right now, you're gonna be receiving DMs from people saying that they can't write in there. They're gonna say that they're banned. So Flutters will we'll try to take action on that. Already, you already know that from your years of experience in the space, you're yeah. not blocked, you're not banned. Everything is going into Discord. So I'll actually update then the descriptions of the videos. So we'll have, we'll highlight that, right? We'll say you're not banned. Everything is being tra transitioned to Discord. That's actually in effect, like right now, I already see it. <laughs> yep, yep. And uh, so there's more questions, but we'll talk about that oh, later. How those, we've got to put them into Discord. We're going to, everybody's got to start asking questions start again it comes back to support being more active engaging you guys got to do that that's that's part of the community we need it <laughs> um is there anything else you guys wanted to to end it on do you think there's something that we're missing or i think we kind of covered the majority no of just uh just it's amazing you know what happens during hardships uh especially you know if if you keep pushing through i think this is something that you know 
not only starship proofs time and time again, but but also in our in our regular day to day lives. So just remember that when things are getting tough, when things are hard, um, you know, there's there's always another side to that. Don't ever quit. Don't ever give up. There's there's always a positive, you know, after those those negatives. So um, and and that's just all in how you uh, perceive it and and how you you know take it in. But we'll see what happens. Uh, but we're definitely feeling positive over here. I like it. I can say. Also, want to thank yeah every in the, every part every people in the visual. Keep keep trying to be positive in there, especially the admins. Uh, for helping out, I know they've been and they've been working their asses off for a long time now, and they, it, it feels like for some some sometimes it feels like it's not not rewarded uh, to to work as much helping out. We're all volunteers in here, so I want to thank them all, and I hope that uh, in a short time things will turn around and we can we can see another uh, area of starship. Yeah, every every hardship. Mm -hmm. Starship has gone through uh, is, you know, they've always come out stronger. The community, the team, everybody. Um, it's just a matter of fact. So let's see how uh, things go. <laughs> Sounds like I'm hearing some, I, I can already sense in the, your tone of voice, you're getting ready to do something big and you're probably not sharing something with us. I have a feeling. <laughs> well, if anybody right, knows gonna, me, I'm going to pressure I, you on I, that one. Yeah, if anybody knows me, I don't quit, and I keep pushing, and things are going to only get better. So, all right, guys. And no, it doesn't help EM and me because I'm gagged from Matthew. I don't. I'm not allowed to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> now I definitely know something's up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna probe you guys next time. <laughs> all right, Matt. Thanks so much for joining again. I appreciate the update, especially from you on your side, Asley. Thanks for joining us. Um, again, those that are watching. If you're going into Telegram, you might see that it says frozen. You're not banned. You're not booted or anything. It, the transition is going to Discord. So if you're not aware, Discord is just another app. It's on Android, iOS. It's actually a desktop. So for um, Apple, Windows, um, even web-based, right? So you can actually go in there through like Chrome, Firefox. It's an app. It's just another way to communicate. And it's actually a really good place, again, for gamers specifically. So you could kind of see where this is going at. Starship is a game. <laughs> Flat out, that's where it is. So all the links for everything is below. Check it out. Again, guys, thanks again. Um, see you guys in Discord. Thank you. Thanks for having us.